Guys, we are back again. We are finally going to be looking at Avatar Frontiers on Pandora. This is the official trailer also for Ubisoft 4 2023. So, I did not know I was going to be doing this many videos today. Uh, didn't think we were going to get anything like this. So, without further ado, let's check this out and I'll give you guys my thoughts. Oh, wow. The RDA's breed poisoned our world. Secure the perimeter. All threats must be eliminated. They took everything from us. From me. I was trained in their ways, their technology, their weapons, things that a Na'vi should not know. And then one day, they left. Hell's Gate is under attack. Evacuate now. Kill all the Na'vi children. But before they did, our teacher saved us and put us to sleep. This is your only chance to survive. And there I remain. For 15 years. Until one day, I awoke. Hmm. And I was free. Free to explore my world. Free to decide who I was going to be. Free to discover what I was meant to do. Now you see what they kept you from. Your true home. Under attack again. Don't let the Navi get in our way. Get rid of them. And I have a choice to make. I choose to protect my home. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, it's coming out later on this dude, man, dude, we got a lot of games that's coming out this year. Oh my gosh. This is giving me Horizon slash Tomb Raider vibes, and that's a good thing because I like both games. Uh I'm gonna look at the gameplay trailer here in a minute, but this this looks like it could be a damn good game. Uh not only by first person, but third person as well. You could choose either or, hopefully. Um Damn. I'm hoping they upgrade the uh, the graphics a little bit. I'm hoping the graphics get to be just a little bit better. Um, I think it could be a lot better uh, with gameplay. But I like the whole idea of almost kind of doing like a Jake Sully type of deal where this one seemed like she was abducted and then she had no choice but to be trained in the human ways. And then they were going to kill him when they got overran and then now 15 years later they can do whatever they want and they are trained both the ways of the Navi as well as also um humans but it's gonna be kind of interesting but i don't know I'm, I'm looking forward to this game so let's let's see what the gameplay trailer has for us but th this is cool i will say that it, it is it's really cool so let's check out the gameplay trailer hmm. oh wow Okay. Welcome to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, a 
first-person action-adventure game that invites you to explore the engaging world of Avatar in an immersive open-world experience. I'm Didi Deanfeld, game director, and I'm excited to reveal what's waiting for you on Pandora. You can't. The story of our game begins when the RDA expands their operations to the western frontier. John Mercer, one of the leaders of the RDA, abducts you and other Navi children from your home to teach you the ways of humans, hoping to mold you and turn you against your own people. But his plan is interrupted by the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains, and you are put into emergency cryosleep. Hmm. When you awaken 15 years later, you are a stranger in your birthplace. Knowing the dangers posed by the RDA, you set out to take them down and look to secure the help of other Navi clans. Hmm. Initially, you're perceived as an outsider, so you have to reconnect with your lost Navi heritage to gain their trust. On your adventure, you'll find your own path as you discover what it means to be Navi. You'll explore new regions of Pandora, each with their own unique biomes. The King Law Forest is a lush rainforest brimming with life and dense vegetation in the shape of awe-inspiring floating mountains. This is the home of the Aranahe, a clan of peaceful weavers who will guide you on your first hunt and on your first flight. Oh, wow. The Aranahe will show you the way to the Rookery, where you can bond for life with your very own Ikram. The Ikram is a devoted companion that you can name, feed, and customize. Oh, cool. Experiment with acrobatics and feel a rush of adrenaline as you dive from the sky and explore the open world of Pandora from the air. If you travel north, you get to the upper plains, an expansive grassland filled with contrasts and open views as far oh, wow. as the eye can see. That's cool. The nomadic Seswa clan live here in symbiosis with gigantic beasts called Sakru. Earn the clan's trust, and they will teach you the art of riding dire horses. And further west, a mysterious clouded forest, where hidden in the mist, Nothing is as it seems. Here lives the Kamatiri, a clan of healers with their own dark reasons to stay hidden. RDA operations are threatening the balance of Pandora. They built facilities of all sizes to exploit resources at any cost, spreading devastating pollution. In the process, animals are hurt and poached. You will need to stop the RDA from ravaging your home. And when you are ready, you will take the fight to them. As a oh, wow. of two worlds, you can learn to master multiple combat styles. Oh, that's cool. Your powerful instincts allow you to get an overview of the battlefield, mark your enemies, and identify weak points. Traditional Navi weapons are versatile and precise. You can use the longbow to hit long-range targets, or the staff sling to set up traps. For a more explosive approach, you can leverage your human training and go for the blast of an assault rifle, a shotgun, or go bigger with the occasional rocket launcher. Damn. On foot, you can also rely on your incredible strength to take down amp units. Above the clouds, your Ikran will help you in aerial combat against the RDA. Oh, damn, dude. Destroying RDA facilities will have a tangible impact on your world. With the pollution removed, Pandora heals. You will be able to harvest the best quality material again and craft better gear and weapons. You will also find ingredients to cook and make meals to get stronger. Hmm. As you keep discovering what it truly means to become Navi, you will improve your skills by connecting to Ewa through the Tarshu plant and learn from the memories of your ancestors. Skill upgrades can improve many aspects of your character. Oh, okay, that's cool. To move through the world, your stealth approach when hunting or fighting, or the handling of your weapons and mounts. Hmm. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is a captivating action-adventure game designed to maximize the power of new-gen consoles and PC. You will be able to play the full story campaign in single-player or with a friend online in two-player co-op. 
Oh, okay. You do two play co op. All right. Explore this world of wonder. Become Navi and take down the RDA to protect Pandora. This is a beautiful game. Yeah, I may have to get this game. I may I may just have to get this game. Um The Child of Two Worlds pack. That that is cool, man. Um First off, the graphics really do look good in this. Um the gameplay looks absolutely amazing. I like the fact that you can change into either fighting like a human or fighting like a Navi. Uh I also am getting a lot of Far Cry vibes from this. I'm getting a lot of uh, Tomb Raider and Horizon vibes from this as well. I was kind of hoping you'd be able to play as third person. It's not a deal breaker for me. I just was kind of hoping you could either choose from first person or third person. But again, it, it's fine. Um, I like it, man. I really do. I think it's really cool. I think the story is going to be really interesting. I'm kind of hoping that we get to see sort of like what we saw in the first two movies. I'm kind of hoping that we get to see like the water tribe uh, in Pandora. And I'm also hoping we get to see the tribe that uh, Jake Sully became a part of. I'm hoping we could see them. Um, I'm kind of hoping we could see characters from the movie in here. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. But again, I'm not holding my breath on that. I'm not sure if this is going to be canon related. Uh, but it's going to be kind of interesting to see. But I'm looking forward to this game. I am. I am looking forward to this damn game. There, Ubisoft is, I think, taking the reins this, this year. I will say that. I think Ubisoft is taking the reins this year. And um, hats off to them. I mean, literally, hats off to them. I didn't think Ubisoft is really... Because Ubisoft hasn't done much in the last few years. But I think they're going to try to make up for it with, obviously, this game, uh, Star Wars, and Assassin's Creed. So, hey, you know, good job. You know, Assassin's, you know, good job, Ubisoft. I mean, maybe you've finally been listening to your fandom. Maybe you've been finally listening to uh, your fans and people that actually love and care about games. And maybe giving us a good game and or games. Uh, that's just what I got to say here, guys. What do you think about this? Are you guys going to get this game? Are you guys going to pass on it? Uh, do you want to see more? Are you going to give it a little bit? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments down below. If you guys are new to the channel, always about subscribing. Leave a big like on the video. It helps me out. It helps get this channel out there more. Gets this video spread out there. Gets more ideas about uh, Avatar, you know, Frontiers, and Pandora. But let me know what you guys think about this overall down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, comment down below. Obviously, once again, uh, you're going to pass on this. You want to see more. Is it a, is it a grab for you? Is it a pass? Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you as always on the very next one.